Now then, this is not a licensed toy from Dinky, which is unusual for me, I know. This is, as you can see, a Dinky Diecast Toys Zygon Marauder. This does not appear in any of the Dinky catalogs that I have. And I have utterly randomly picked this one up off eBay in a box. And its state suggests that it is definitely not a repo bo repro box because it is banged up basically. But it's not ridiculously banged up at all. Um, it's got two missile launchers which have appear to have missiles in them. Um, there's something red in the cockpit as well. I haven't actually got it out. I don't know whether I should get it out to be honest. Um, I'll, I'll take comments on that. And this is number 368 in terms of um, production numbers. But the really interesting thing for me is that this does not appear in any of the dinky catalogues that I have. Which means that it's one of the last dinky toys produced before they shut down. And I know that to be the case because there were very few released after the ones that were in the catalog you know they basically just started to sort of you know tail off production after that um the nice thing about this is that you can see it's good you know the packaging is very, very very nice and i'm really looking at this closely for the first time i knew it came with a sort of space station cutout so you can see that the box actually forms part of the play set now this i have a very very beaten up version of um and that is a trident starfighter the the space battle cruiser i also am getting one of i do not have it yet but i do have one on the way and i think that, it, that it's um its base is very similar to this one's base um in that it's got sort of a kind of triangular wing base to it I think those are going to look very similar and I will probably try and do a comparison um, against each other. Now, and there's some more, some more space station detailing there. Now, you know, I could, I could unfold it and, you know, try and sort of bring it out and stick it in a base. I just don't know whether it's worth more if I, if I leave it as is. It's got a bit of a, a gap in its cellophane here. Um, but that, that's about it. It's in pretty, pretty decent nick otherwise. Um, just trying to read for ages nine up and that sort of thing so the funny thing is that although i said at the the outset of this video that this is not a licensed toy ironically enough the word zygon is the name of an enemy of a certain doctor yes that's right so the zygons are shapeshifters from doctor who and they do predate this Zygon Marauder. So I do wonder whether someone borrowed the, the word Zygon, which sounds obviously completely made up, and decided that they, they would stick it on the front of this ship and hope that nobody noticed that it was a Doctor Who tie-in and just sort of quietly get away with it on that basis. Now, I'm just noticing that, <laughs> yeah, they put Zygon TM next to Zygon quite repeatedly as if it's kind of, it's their... It's, it's their thing that they've made up as if going, and I know that there are other there are, are other Zygon models I'm not quite sure how many I think there might be maybe two more as their sort of last ditch um, at, you know attempt to get some more sales I guess before they went under but um, I'm really sort of quite chuffed to have randomly found one in a box and this box is actually representative of um, dinky style boxes towards the end of the production line runs. So they, they use these window boxes, whereas um, the earlier Dinky Eagle from Space 1999 that I've got has a very different cardboard base box, which has a sort of um, see-through bubble on top of it. It doesn't have a, a windowed one like, like this does. Um, so it's, it's really interesting actually to, to have two two separate dinky boxes just from you know, somewhat different eras. I mean, not, they're not years and years apart at all. Um, in fact, I haven't, I haven't looked closely on this one yet to see um, whether or not it's got a year on it. If, if it has, I can't immediately see it, bear with me. Um, 
So it says, Made in England by Meccano Limited. Um, it's even got a telephone number on it. Brilliant. <laughs> that's that's different. So if you don't if you don't like it, you can you can just call them straight off the box. Excellent. Um, trademark applied for. Ah, copy, ah, there we go. Copyright nineteen seventy nine. Um, and I think that's about right because I don't I don't think that the um, you can just about make. So you can see the the details of the. Uh, of the place there and you can see just about make out the copyright um year there on the top so it 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 was really towards the end of it i mean i am smiling at this this year i mean that's that really does genuinely look like it's not been out of the box um at all and funnily enough i think this the seller was based in southport and southport and liverpool are not far away so i wonder if they if if someone gifted them this or something just as the factory was shutting down, I don't know, I'm completely making that up. But it's, it's, it's you know, it's vaguely possible. The fact they've just got it in a box after all these years and it doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. I mean, I, I might have to ask them um, and just say, you know, what was the, what was the, what was the crack with this? Because it's, um, it is an incredibly good condition. So I think I may hang on to this one in the box and just not not touch it so i mean i wouldn't be able to swear that it had never been touched by uh by anything ever but it is in really nice condition i think and when my um my space battle cruiser arrives i will i will compare and contrast from what i can see that you know that's in the box um but yeah i mean you know that that is that is very much what what the toys looked like back then. That's that was the sort of thing I probably saw on the shelves. I mean, I was actually thinking to myself that at the time, given that this was nineteen seventy nine, that was probably the last time you could actually buy a new dinky toy from a toy shop. So when I got things like my Space nineteen ninety nine Eagles, I was probably it was probably, probably would have been early eighties. Which means that, that dinky toys hung on the shelves for two or three years, presumably at least, after they were last released. And when you think about it, I'm really not sure that would happen these days. Because the, the turnover of the lines is so quick now that, you know, I don't know what... I mean, I mean yeah, that, that having been said, I think Lego sets do last for, for a few years before they're discontinued. So I suppose yeah, it's possible I could have I could have picked it up that late, or my parents could have picked it up that late for me. Um, yeah, it was just um, but just fascinating to get one in that's absolutely sort of brand new in the box. You know, this many years later, because this is over forty years old, easily forty three years old at this point. So I mean, that's just yeah, just a little thing at a time, isn't it? You know, which I that's one of the reasons I quite enjoy collecting these things because it's just kind of just gives you a window back on you know how things were being built and sold back then i mean was that quite i mean it looks like it's mainly metal but they obviously have added a few more plasticky elements to the back of it but it doesn't look like it's been in the sun or anything it looks all very very neat and tidy so yeah grand if i get any more information on it from the sellers i'll um obviously i'll, I'll let you know but uh apart from that that is a a rather unusual example of uh a dinky diecast toy in its original box for you. Cheers for now.